Yo guys, what is up face here? Today we've got a video editing tutorial. This one is going to be a little cool cinematic effect that I, that I did. I don't know if it's new, but uh, I didn't copy any videos. I just did it myself. Uh, there's the one on the screen right now with the little glowy gun. I'll uh, put it in, do it again in slow motion so you guys can see in better detail. Uh, so let's move over to Sony Vegas and see how it's done. So there's going to be uh, two parts to this. There's going to be a part for the uh, advanced people who, who know about Sony Vegas and know what it's all about and the people who don't know about Sony Vegas and uh, are new to it and are just want to find some cool effects. For the advanced people I've got something that looks a little bit like this. So what I've done is I've got my main clip here with my velocity. I've also got a little zoom on there as well. I've copied that layer and I've added the following. So first off I've got a mask that starts like this and ends like this. It's literally just two points. And then on top of that I added light rays that look like this. I didn't animate it. I also added magic bullet looks that look like this. On matte I've got diffusion that looks like this. On lens I've got edge softness that looks like this. And anamorphic flare that looks like this. So that's it for the effects. Then I just made it fade in so the effect comes in over time. And I added a vignette in the background on top of the main clip and underneath the effect. If you want you can make this fade in as well that'll look pretty sick. For the sound effect I added this noise. I cut it down a bit, did a bit of editing with it, and made it sound like this. I did that with the song. And that's the effect. Now for the people who don't know about Sony Vegas. So you've got a cinematic that you've got with your clip. If you don't know how to do velocity, make sure you check out my other tutorial. To start off, it looks like this. You want to copy and paste this and drag it onto another layer. If you don't know how to make another layer, you right click the, the current video layer and uh, insert video track here. Uh, and then I want to cut out this bit because I want the effect uh, on this gun here right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little button here and it opens up a menu. I'm going to click this little triangle thing and tick mask on. I'm then going to click the pen and roughly draw around the gun. And then I'm going to go right to the end, uh, press this little mouse again and sort out the points. So here at the start this these two are behind the gun and these two are in front of the gun so when I go to the first bit I'm going to make sure they're behind the gun and the other two are in front of the gun. Just like so. And I want to go back, click the little triangle thing, open up this path menu if it's not there, go feather type both and change it to about 10. And exactly the same on the other diamond, make sure you remember that bit. If it's greyed out like this, make sure you click one of the points. Now if I close this off and I mute this layer, looks a little bit like this. Now adjust it to make it look good in your eyes. So I'm pretty happy with that, I think it looks pretty cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to video effects at the side, go to light rays, I'm going to drag like weak light rays on, and I'm going to make these settings look like this. The next step doesn't 100% matter, it's just I choose to do it because I think it looks really cool. If you guys don't have magic bullet looks, you don't 100% need it, it's not necessary, it just makes it look a little bit better. If you don't have magic bullet looks and don't intend on getting it, then just skip this bit and then go over to the next bit where I'm changing the opacity and the vignette and stuff. But if you do have magic bullet looks, drag the default into here uh, and then press edit. So you want to hover over tools, go to mat, drag in diffusion. These settings at the side, you want to make them look like this. Then hover over tools again, go to lens, and then drag in an edge softness. Just drag this around so it fits the gun the best. I've got mine like this so the edges are blurred, just a little bit. Next you want to go to tools, go to anamorphic flare and drag that back into lens. Mess around with these settings so they look like this. It's your choice if you want to have a colour or not, I choose not to have a colour. If you do then just select a colour like this, uh, change whatever and then it'll just make it look a little bit different down here. After you finish, just hit finished. And now for the fun part, create another layer for this so you can have a vignette down here. Drag your vignette in, maybe from your, your files or if you've downloaded one off the internet. If you don't have one then just type vignette into images and loads of them pop up. Or if you know what to do, do what I did and uh, make your own on like paint.net or photoshop or something like that. Once you've got this in, you can unmute this layer and you can see the effect take place. Now you want it to not snap like that so you just drag this corner so it's got that little icon, drag it right to the end. And do exactly the same with this one as well and that's your effect done it'll start fading in like that and whoop. so i'm gonna highlight this shift b to ram preview let's have a look at this but to make it just a touch better i downloaded this from a sound pack on the internet i just typed into google swoosh editing and then a little pack came up this and a swoosh so if you want to listen to this it's a crazy sound i grabbed this i right clicked it 
I reversed it. I edited it down just a little bit and uh, added whatever you call this and turned this down just a touch as well so it's not as in your ear. I wanted it quite subtle. I'm going to fix this so it sorts right and I want to add this one here. If you right, right click that line, I add this one. Uh, and then that's it, I sort that out uh, online with everything. Uh, let's run preview this and let's have a look. And that's it, that's all done for this effect. I hope this helps and make sure edits look sick. If you've got any questions, pop it in the comments below. And goodbye.